Hi, thank you for purchasing the uh, SWAT helicopters. Uh, I'm going to tell you how to open and set up the uh, initial stage uh, before you fly the hel helicopters. Um, you need to have eight AA battery ready. Uh, alkalines, nickel metal hydride, or rechargeable uh, nitrate. Uh, that's fine. As long as you have to have eight of them for your transmitters, which is the uh, radio control. Let's open this up. Once you open the, uh, the box up, here is the complete package. You have the uh, you have the simplified menu um, with the package, so you can read about it when you have a chance. And just need to open up the uh, the plastic. There is a little uh, holder that holds the helicopters, so you just need to take out the helicopter and pull this out. So you can use the uh, in, in inspection on the helicopter. So just look at uh, look around, make sure that everything is uh, uh, in place. Especially the the blade, make sure that they are they're, they are loose. Uh, if you look at it, it's it's pretty pretty loose. That's normal. Uh, you don't really need to uh, fasten it. So just let it be loose like this. You can feel um, because of centrifugal uh, centrifugals that will allow it to. Uh, uh, swing out when you fly it. Um, some version of the helicopter do not come with a SWAT uh, uh, tape on it, the stickers. So there will be a sticker inside the box. All you need to do is just peel it out and then put in the stickers. Some you do have the sticker already onto the fuselage. So let's, let's do some uh, terminology of the helicopters. Basically, um, this is your rotor heads portions and then there's a uh, swatch plate underneath the roller heads and then this is the entire body composed of couple fuselage the, the main fuselage and then the, there's a part of the small fuselage uh, when you order if you need to order on the website um, this is the landing skid right here it holds by two screws and then there's uh, two little uh, hinge that actually you, you can pull it out and then you can uh, after you unlock the two screw then this, this um, skid is going to come out. And then of course this is the, uh, the heading light, the navigation lights. That's some of the terminology for the helicopter here. Let's continue to pull out the rest of the items. You have the transmitter, radio. Uh, this is the 4 channel 2.4 gigahertz radios um, doing cell binding with the con uh, helicopters. Then you have the rechargeable lithium battery packs. It's a 3 cell lithium uh, polymer battery pack. You have the AC wall charger. And then of course uh, the wall charger will not work unless you plug into the uh, adapters. This is the bridge between the AC charger and the, the lithium battery packs. So let's continue discard the uh, plastic here. First thing, let's show you how to do the charging on this uh, lithium battery packs. One end go to the plug of the bridge adapters, and then the other end go to the larger portion of the uh, three cell uh, balance charging plug. So before you plug in, let's do the plug into the AC out outlet first. So once you plug into the AC outlet, you will see that there will be a red light turn on. So it indicates that uh, there, there are power to the, uh, the low hub. So once you plug in the battery packs, which is the, the larger battery pack right here with the 
input. So we begin to flash. That's, that's your initial flash, uh, charging of the battery packs. I do recommend uh, for beginners, uh, for the first time user, uh, to plug it in for six to eight hour charging. After the charges, the batteries, the red light will either go turn solid or turn green. Solid red or solid green. And it's not blinking, that's, that means finished charging. But initially, after it turns solid, you still leave the battery in there for it fully charging on the cycle. Uh, after the first time, you can actually unplug the battery pack when it's all solid after the first time. That will be charging the batteries. So we leave it charging right now for, for the time being. Now let's set up the, uh, the controller. You need eight AA battery uh, for the controller again. Um, open up the, the little cover. So you can pull this battery holder out. Be careful not to pull it too hard. Just slightly pull it out. And then there is a little red uh, JSC connectors in there. So you just need a Yank it out a little bit. Try to hold on to the JST connectors when you pull it. Don't yank it from the uh, the battery side because it's gonna come out the connections, and then and then you gotta have a uh, damaged connectors. So hold on to the very tip of this, and then pull it out from the controllers. So if you look at it, there are two sides. So right now we've got put in the battery packs. Make sure all the connections are properly placed in. You have the uh, the bottom end to to the spring for the battery packs. And this is the double A batteries. Again, alkaline, nickel metal hydride, or, lit, uh, or lithium energizer batteries. So once you finish putting in the other batteries, you need to plug in the, the connector first. Now, if you look at the connectors, one side has two little um, metal, metal uh, tips, and then one side is all red. So. Normally, if you look inside this little connector inside there, there is a, a little edge on the bottom, which means the tips of this aluminum is going to the bottom. So let's connect this first. So once you plug it in, and then you, you stick it in all the way, and you can feel it, there's a little click on it. So that means it's inserted properly. And then now you place the uh, battery in there. There's a little two little edge on the ba uh, battery uh, holders, which means you are putting that on the top of the, of the lay-in of the battery. That's how you lay it in. So just remember the, the slow edge on the top of the battery holder goes on top of these insertions. So now you just tuck in all the uh, remaining portion of the red and black power connections cable. Now close it. So now this allows you to do all the battery insertion to the controllers. You have two joysticks and you have four individual trims. So the and then you have also two toggle switch and one setting of the uh, the voltage setting on the uh, up and down for the helicopters. So you don't need to worry about all this for now. Uh, I'm going to show you how to turn it on. Um, the controller of this joystick, this left joystick, has to, it has to be all the way to the bottom. That's a must initially when you turn on the controllers. So once you turn in the controller, you will see all these powers 